Hello, this is the Matrix on OPC uh, instructional tutorial on how to install and configure the OPC server for Remark 5 Direct. Just double click on the executable to start the install package. Here you want to click Next. You can fill in your own information here and click Next. Say that you will be evaluating the software to start. You can add a key later if you like to permanently register the software, it's the same. Click next there. The install package will decompress all the necessary files. And that's it for the install. So you can just click finished here. Now we'll open up the configuration panel for the Mark V server. Just look under your programs list. You should see MageCon OPC folder. Now Mark 5 Direct, and finally the OPC server for Mark 5 Direct with the blue Matricon logo. This will open up the configuration GUI, the graphical user interface. As you can see, there's already two what we call device links configured. These have been auto-detected from the PC's pre-installed ArcNet cards. If you click on any given one of them, you should see the properties uh, for that particular device link. You'll notice now that you might have two links in the server configuration. One of these will be used by the TCI to talk to the ArcNet card. The other will be used by our OPC server to talk to the ArcNet card. In this case it is best to disable the device link to the ArcNet card which will be used by the TCI so we don't have interference. Now in order to get the communication configured you can click on the ellipsis under configuration file and look for your config.dat file. This will be the one that is generated by the TCI will be the master configuration for the communication link. Once you find this file, just click it, click open, and make sure to apply that for this device link. At this stage, you'll now be done with the basic communication configuration. Also, please make sure that once you click apply, it is always best to click refresh in the top menu. This will allow you to see the changes you just made. In this case, you'll see the unit, which is the actual turbine controller, come up as a possible link underneath the ArcNet card you just configured. Now that we've configured the OPC server for Mark V, we should test the connection by using an OPC client. This one is OPC Explorer, the Magicon free OPC test tool. When you first open it, you should see a list of OPC servers on the left side. And in that list, on the local host, you'll see the Matricon OPC Mark V Direct OPC server. Just right-click that and connect it, or double-click and connect it. Then right-click and add a group. The update rate by default is 1,000 milliseconds or 1 second. You can keep that or change based on how fast you want the client to ask the server for new updates. Now you'll want to right click the group and select add items. This will open up a new screen where you can see the device links you configured in the OPC server configuration. Under those device links you'll see the unit, in this case T1, as well as some available tags, in this case some set points. What you'd like to do is select a few of them and add those to the tag list. That will come up in the top right window of this particular uh, GUI and you'll click at the little red X button in the top left to update that and go back to the normal Explorer view. After that you'll see the normal OPC attributes, a value, quality, and timestamp come through for the OPC server connection. You may have noticed the points in OPC Explorer had no values. 
you might see otherwise, but in this particular example, we have some values as long as we can find them. We just have to look for the OPC alias file that was pre-configured. Here you see the alias file in CSV format. When you open that up and expand the lower part of the configuration, you'll see that there are many, many alias groups, each of which containing aliases. They have a name that is arbitrary and an item path, the big long string that is very necessary to get correct if you want to get the proper point from the turbine controller received by OPC. And here is an example of some OPC aliases that were configured in the OPC Mark V server. You can see here they have a different item ID than what would normally be there for uh, an actual Mark V turbine point. You can configure these aliases uh, to have any name you want, and just like the name sounds, they're just renaming points that already exist. And that is really all there is to using the Matricon OPC server from Mark V Direct. Hopefully by this point you have seen how to install, how to do the configuration on the OPC server, as well as how to update points and aliases in an OPC client like this OPC Explorer. If you have any questions, please call our support group at 780-448-4011. Thank you.